can we 3D print a fully functional vise? And more importantly, which material is strongest? Today I printed this vise in ABS, ASA and TPU to see which one holds up the best under pressure. And trust me, things get interesting. Stick around because by the end of this video we are going to stress test this thing to its limits. Sort of. Let's make it, let's print it and roll the video. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Alessio and this is Pixel Forge Lab. I'm excited today because I built this 3D printed vise using three different materials, ABS, ASA and TPU. In this video I'll show you the full process from 3D printing and assembling the parts to put the vise to a real stress test, sort of. We will compare how each material holds up under pressure and see which one comes out on the top for functional 3D printed tools. Let's jump right in and see if the vise can really handle the challenge. Let's start with the materials. First up, TPU. It's flexible, durable and can take some serious force. For this particular build, TPU is used only for the padding. I loaded the filament into my Bamboo Lab P1P and sliced it in Bamboo Studio. I used this generic Amazon TPU, which I gotta say, it works perfectly. As for the settings, I used the generic TPU profile provided in Bamboo Studio. But as expected, it took longer to print due to lower speeds. And here is a time lapse. The prints came out clean, and not too worried about it because the TPU only serves for padding the vise. It might work for light duty clamping, but let's see how ABS and ASA compare. Next up is ABS, which I'm using for the rods and threads. ABS is known for its strength and resistance. Classic, strong, but tricky to print. In fact, I swapped the build plate from texture PEI to smooth one, and preheated the bed and nozzle and closed the lid on top, so can create more heat to prevent warping. Talking about warping, if you have issues with warping PLA, you should check this video right here. As you can see, I'm using the Panda Touch from Big Tree Tech. If you're interested to see the review of this product, please check this video right here. As for the enclosure, this is a Bamboo Lab P1P with the custom vision enclosure. Video right here. But be careful, because so much heat could and will warp the PLA parts made for the enclosure, or at least print those small parts in ABS or other heat resistant filaments. ABS definitely feels more solid, no flex at all but will hold up under pressure? Let's find out. Finally, the main body of the vise is printed in ASA. ASA offers excellent durability and UV resistance, making it perfect for structural components. Basically, it's a UV resistant ABS, perfect for outdoors use. The print settings were similar to ABS, but let's see how it performs when assembled. This was my very first time printing ASA and you will see some layer shifts and artifacts probably due to not drying the filament first, which I did after and the other prints turned out great. For drying my filaments I used the iBoss Polyphemus filament dryer, video review right here. Now that I have all the parts ready, it's time to assemble the vise. The design is straightforward, the main body printed in ASA forms the frame while the rods and threads in ABS provide the mechanical strength needed for clamping. The TPU parts are printed as padding add a non-slip surface for a secure grip. So let's divide them by material. So we go for the TPU first and the TPU we have the frame base pad, which is this one right here, that it will go right underneath the frame of the vise, right here. And I'm assuming that we need to glue this. There's no instruction on whether we have to glue them or not, but we're gonna definitely glue this one. In fact, I already prepared this nice PLA glue. And again, for TPU, we have these grips it's by two, one for the vise and the other one for the frame right there. These ones are not supposed to be glued, but I think I'm gonna glue them anyway because this one is a little loose. The other one kind of slides in perfectly 
yeah, this one stays in place perfectly. And for TPU, we have this one right here, the mounting plate, which will thread into this one right here. Now we're gonna go for the ABS. And in fact, this one right here is the mounting bolt. And it's very, very, very strong and very sturdy. And then we have the guide rods. Very, very smooth, very, very sturdy. In ABS, we have the threaded rod. This is the main one, pretty, pretty sturdy. Also in ABS, we have the retaining clips. One, two, and three. And now for the ASA, we have the frame of the vise. It turned out pretty great, except a couple of parts. They have some slight issues on our ends right here. I showed it before. And then we have the vise itself, which turned out pretty great, except one part as well. I mentioned this one before because I didn't dry the filament. It was a brand new filament, so I took for granted that it was okay. But after I actually dried the filament, I printed a couple of more things that are not related to this, but it turned out great. I'm gonna show you. So after drying the ASA for four hours, I actually printed this speaker risers. They are perfect. There is no imperfection, no overhangs issues, just brilliant. So now let's build this vise. And the first thing I'm going to do is to thread in the mounting bolt into the frame right here with the uh, mounting plate, which is in TPU. This one is ABS and this one is of course ASA. So I'm just gonna thread it in. And once it's out, I'm gonna thread in the mounting plate, which is in TPU. I can see already an issue. And it keeps going, that means it doesn't work properly, but we'll see when we attach it to a table. It doesn't go to the end, it keeps going, so probably the thread in the TPU, it's already broken. Maybe we'll need to print a new one, but we will see. Before we continue, I'm just going to thread back this one right here so I can mount the frame base pad grip right here. And I'm going to glue it and I'm going to use some tape to keep it in place. There is one side that's shorter and the other one side is a little larger. So the shorter side goes inside and the other side goes outside. I'm going to use this paper tape, which is easy to remove. Perfect for this. I think that's enough for the glue. Gently. So I'm just gonna put it right there. And then slide it over. Right there. I'm gluing myself onto the vise. I think that's good enough. Position-wise, things looks perfect. I'm gonna put the tapes. And we can put this one on a side to dry while we build the other parts. Also, we can glue the first grip pad into the vise this way. This one is the one that is a little loose, absolutely. And we can put like literally just a couple of drops. And, and one. And perfect. And we put it aside to dry. After that, because we are drying the rest, we can attach the other grip pad to the actual frame. This one, it's pretty stable as it is, and we're gonna leave it as it is. Now, because I need to install the rods, the two guide rods and the threaded rod, we need to just lift a little bit of the strips right here. Just gonna put it right there. Actually, I'm gonna attach it to the table just temporarily, just like that. Hope you can see it. These two guide rods goes right here, but we need to grab the vise as well. Put it like that. Slide the tape as well. Because this glue is actually pretty powerful and really, really fast to dry. The vise goes in here with the guide rods. They're gonna go against this part right here. And if you can see it, they just go right there, one and two. And we have to hold them in place with the retaining clips inside. They go inside. It's like a, a horseshoe shape. We have to find the right spot. And I found that one. And the second one, perfect. And now the guide rods are in place so we can see. And here we go, it slides perfectly. And we have TPU, ABS, and ASA working together. We have one more retaining clip, which is gonna go into the threaded rod right here. And the last step is to thread in the main rod. So it's the threaded rod in ABS. Just gonna slide it in. We have a hole right here, which is now covered by the tape, but we can remove the tape, I think. Unfortunately, this grip didn't really stick. So I'm just gonna glue it again. I'm gonna put a little bit of tape again but this time just a tiny bit. All right, let's clean the residue. 
and now we can actually thread in the main rod right there. Thread it in and we can lock it down with the other retaining clip. It goes right here. It's kind of wobbly. Let me see. Yes, I just checked the website and yes, it does shows that it goes here. I think it's a little wobbly. Maybe this retaining clip should have been printed in a different way with a different system, but for the sake of the video, we're gonna leave it as it is. This is the actual vise built and completed. What we need to do now is to remove the tapes. Hopefully it will stay. And I'm gonna leave the other one right here still a little bit. And let's see the actual. And that's at the end. So hopefully we have grip and I can feel that we do. And let's go back. The other test I'm gonna do right away is to attach it to this table. So let's go for it. I'm just gonna open it all up, slide it in, and then close it. Okay, now it is closed. I'm just gonna keep, yeah, I can feel that it's not working. I believe that the actual TPU thread, the one in uh, the mounting plate is not working correctly because it keeps snapping, 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 going out of the thread. It's pretty stable, it's pretty table, sorry. Let's remove the tape from the other grip. I think it's fine now. So what I mean is that this part right here keeps threadening and going out of the thread and this is an issue. It doesn't move much, but I mean, for working, it's not perfect. I'm not sure. I'm gonna contact the maker of this vise and see what's the problem. But now the actual test is to put some objects inside and see if I can work with because the reason why I built it is because I work a lot with props and uh, little pieces that I have to hold with my hand and use a file. But this vise, it could be perfect if it works. So let's put it to the test. Mostly I'll be working with plastic, so PLA, ABS, ASA, TPU, and all the filaments. So for this particular example, I'm just gonna try this PLA piece that I printed. Just wanna see if it holds and I can work with, you know, like file some edges and see if it actually holds up. Let's say that I wanna file this edge. I can hear some cracking noises when I tighten this up, but it feels like it is holding it pretty good because there's more surface right here. I'm just gonna tighten it right there. And there you go. There is like a point where the thread doesn't hold up. So this is the max I can go. But let's see with the file, if I can actually work with it. Well, it does its job. It stays in place and I can file it, so. Yeah, it does its job. The problem I think is the threads are not strong enough. Let's try to file a Benchy. Beautiful Benchy. This was probably one of my first Benchies printed with a Neptune 4 Plus. Super, super stringy. You can see it right there. Just gonna put it right there. That's it, I think. Yeah, that's okay. It's pretty there, so. And yeah, I'm gonna file it. My table is very wobbly, so don't worry about that one. It does hold in place pretty well. The only problem is the mounting bolt at the bottom, it's very weak and I think it's the actual TPU thread inside that is not working anymore. I think on this one there is a maximum of force that you can use and this is pretty much it. It's really hard to remove, I'm trying really really hard and I can't, so it's really there. Now it doesn't even lay on, on the vise, it's literally in the air holding it right in the middle, so I think it works. Uh, let's try one more piece. This frame right here, it's flimsy, but yeah, maybe we can break it. Let's see if we can break it. Come on. Yay! We can break it. Oh yeah. It's super, super stable actually. And I can file it and I can break it. Look at that. Look at the grip. I can lift the table. So yeah. Thumbs up. I used to work in a, in a factory, a metal factory. Not heavy metal, but an actual metal factory. And we have vices everywhere. And they are made of, I mean, materials are stronger than anything. This is plastic. It, even if it's ABS or uh, ASA 
whatever. It's just plastic. So it's for small uses for myself doing this kind of work. So file stuff that is really easy and small and plasticky. And that's what it is. The project, it's, it's perfect. I think it's a thumbs up for me and I'm definitely gonna use it. So you will see me using it in other videos, definitely. Look at that. And this is pretty deep. I'll show you. Oops, I did some deep cuts right there. You can see them. Again, let's gonna put it at a different angle. Maybe just holding like a really, really, really narrow piece right there. Yeah, just, yeah, there you go. And yeah, that's the part I can see it snapping right here. As I was saying, I think this retaining clamp is not really doing anything. So for this one, yeah, I can work with it. It's perfect. Thumbs up for this vise. Let's take a closer look at the finished product. You can see that the ASA body is robust and smooth. While the ABS thread shows excellent details, I gotta say the strength is not the best. As you can see, it's a little flimsy right here. And when we closed it before, well, you saw the video. The TPU padding is flexible and durable. This combination not only results in a vise that performs well under stress, but it also demonstrates how choosing the right material for each component can elevate your design. In a nutshell, if you're looking for a 3D print functional tools for cosplay or everyday use, consider using a multi-material approach like this. Each material brings unique property to the table, literally. ASA for durability, ABS for strength-ish, and TPU for grip. So what's the final verdict? TPU is fun, but kind of useless for this kind of project. ABS is strong, but prone to cracking under extreme pressure. ASA, probably the best balanced, strong, durable, and resistant to outdoor conditions. If you're planning to 3D print a vise like this, ASA is your best bet. It's tough, prints well with the right settings, and won't degrade as fast as ABS. If you want to try this yourself, I have linked the file project in the description down below. Oh, and uh, if you have any ideas for stress testing 3D printed tools, drop a comment. Maybe next time I'll try carbon fiber filament. What do you think? So what's actually the final verdict here? This 3D printed vise built with ASA, ABS and TPU not only looks great, but works incredibly well, except those parts that I showed before. It doesn't clamp full on, especially the one at the bottom, but I gotta say for these small parts, really small plastic parts, it's perfect. It's a testament to how mixing materials can optimize performance for specific applications. Thank you so much for joining me on this build and test. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, subscribe for more 3D printing projects and let me know in the comments what would you like to see next. And as usual, I'll catch you on the next one.